Uh, my name is Danielle Naftalin. Uh, some people around the FitTrack community know me as DNAF. For a while, there were three of us Danielles, which is unusual, who all attended at the same time. So uh, I live in the Emerald Hills area. I've been with FitTrack. Uh, I started in spring of 2018 in the Menlo Park gym. And then during shutdown, I moved to the fully virtual format. And then last spring, I started going to the Redwood City gym in person. So I do a mix of Zoom on the days I can't get in or they're closed uh, and, and the in-person gym. Um, I'm pretty sure I saw like a Facebook ad or something. Um, I had been, I was a runner way back in the day. I call myself a non-practicing runner, even though I run maybe once a week-ish. Um, I was a big runner in high school, got out of practice of it in college, and then in um, grad school and as a professional, I sort of always keep coming back to wanting to run, but not actually making it happen. I would, you know, go through my day like, I'll go running at five, and then five o'clock would come and go, and I'm like, oh, I'll go at six, and that would come and go, and be like, oh, it's dark, I guess I'm not going today. Uh, so I would try to run, but not actually run. So I spent a really long time trying to find some sort of routine that I liked enough to stick with, um, and had had some trouble finding something that would stick that I found was effective. And by the time I saw the Facebook ad for FitTrack, I was really, really eager to find something that I could fit into my schedule and do regularly that was gonna be, frankly, efficient um, and effective. And at the time, in the Menlo gym in particular, because that's where I was going, most of the sessions I could get through in about 30 minutes and get like a crazy good workout. It was kind of moving at your own pace. And there were so many timing options. I think I said something to my husband like, it's really my fault if I can't find a way to make this work. Like this is <laughs> this is on me if I can't find any of these times that I can fit in for 30 minutes. Um, and so I started going, I signed up at the time for like a six week trial program um, and I loved it. So I stuck with it now more than four years. I'm not someone who's very dedicated to setting like a specific, a specific goal. Um, they're much more about like, for me, it's about being able to do the things that I like to do um, and just overall feeling good. <laughs> um, so overall kind of health and wellness, just wanting to make sure that I'm fit. Um, but I, what I found with FitTrack is that I'm so much stronger and so much more fit than I've really probably ever been since high school, which is a long time ago. Um, but say, says a fair bit. I'm confident to try lots of other things. I've done a Spartan race. I did another sort of mud run thing. Um, I'm not a cyclist, but my husband's really into cycling and I've done a number of big cycling things without, without even really training because I knew I was strong enough that, you know, it might not be pretty and it might not be fast, but I would be fine. Um, and it was fun and I would have never had the confidence to do that before. My running has improved. Um, again, I, I say I'm a non-practicing runner, but I in fact go you know, about once a week, sometimes more, sometimes I can't make it out for various reasons. Um, but I'm going faster than I've gone in 20 years. Um, I'm, you know, when I put my mind to it, I can go farther than I've gone in 20 years. Um, so all of those things for me and just overall feeling really, really strong and really, really fit have been huge, huge benefits for me. Uh, my skiing is better. I can, you know, outlast myself, you know, relative to where I used to be, et cetera. What do I like best? I, I don't know how to narrow it down. There's something about the energy that between like how effective it is and how awesome the coaches are and how wonderful the people are that that join you in class, be it virtually or or in person, that together, I just love it. I, I want to go. I'm happy when I'm there. I feel good, all of those things. The workouts are awesome. The in-person workouts I really, really love. Over the course of the pandemic, we, we did a pretty good job of outfitting our home gym, but you know, there are just things you can't do or that I wouldn't feel confident doing alone. So like I use substantially heavier weights in the actual gym, one, because I have access to them and two, because I'm not afraid of like hurting myself. There's a spotter, there's somebody, you know, sort of guiding me, those kinds of things, but it's kind of all of it. I really, I do love the coaches. They're very motivational um, and yeah, just 
the whole package, I feel like. It's hard to pinpoint one thing. And I've told all my friends and now my husband goes too, so just do it. Like, I was very, very nervous. Um, I was extremely nervous. I had no idea what I was getting into. I didn't really even fully appreciate what I'd be doing. I didn't know what clothes to wear. I, I think I even asked Darren and he was like, I don't know, something to work out in. People are super supportive. It doesn't matter how fit you are. It doesn't matter your age. It doesn't matter your gender. Like everybody is super, super, super supportive and meets you where you are and pushes you to do better. It's honestly one of the best things I've ever done for myself. Um, and I'm extremely grateful for all of it. Um, so don't let fear hold you back. Don't think like, oh, I don't know what I'm doing or I'm gonna look silly or whatever. Well, I look silly all the time. Um, I would just just do it and try it and, and give it a, a genuine try for like six weeks. You know, your first week or two, it's gonna be really hard um, and potentially something very different from anything you've ever done. But I think giving it that time to like sort of see some improvement is, was really, really great.